to see today we're doing a DIY flaxseed hair gel and all you need for this recipe is flax seeds, water, and essential oils. So let's get started with some whole flax seeds. So I have these Arrowhead Mills flax seeds and what I do now is I only do two cups of water and a half a cup of flax seeds. I know a lot of people are going to say do a whole cup of flax seeds, but it's hard for me to strain one whole cup of flax seeds. So I only did a half a cup of flax seeds and the hold may be a little less strong, but at least I didn't waste my time um, making this gel that I couldn't really strain. So yeah, I put my flax seed gel on medium to low heat towards the end I kind of switch it between like high and medium just to get some good frothiness and it takes about I'd say 15 minutes to cook and stir it the whole time so it doesn't stick together and this is a good hair gel um, as an alternative to eco styler gel because if you guys didn't know Eco Styler Gel has a lot of toxic chemicals in it, which made me really sad because I really like Eco Styler Gel. But hey, I'm gonna have to get with the natural program and make some hair gel. So here we go. So this is turning out way better than it did the first time. I think I had uploaded a video before of me trying to make flaxseed gel and I just could not strain it. It wouldn't work for anything. But with using only a half a cup of flax seeds and two cups of water, this recipe for me was way, way better. And I also didn't wait for it to be like super, super thick on the stove. Like it's kind of thick now if you can see, but I've seen thicker. And I kind of like turned it off the heat once it got to about right here because this is what I was kind of comfortable with. And I let that cool for only like five minutes. I didn't let it cool that much. I should have let it cool a lot longer. Well, not a lot longer, but I should have let it cool a little bit more. So yeah, I'm just pouring it into this stocking. I just had this black stocking and that worked pretty good for me. And I'm putting it into this plastic Tupperware bowl where I'm gonna store it in the refrigerator for two weeks. And I am very, very happy with the amount of gel I'm getting. I'm like, finally, a success. Like, I'm so happy. So, yeah, I'm getting a good amount of flaxseed gel. And right about now, I'm just enjoying my success. I'm just, you know, really loving this. <laughs> so, I'm getting a lot of gel. And I know it's because I only use a half a cup of flax seeds instead of a whole cup because that whole cup is hard to strain. This half a cup was, you know, a little bit difficult to strain. Not that difficult, but it was a little hard to strain. I'm also going to be trying other natural gels like marshmallow root and okra root. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that because I'm excited to try those. And I think I just am about finished trying to get all the gel I can get out of it. So, yeah, I'm just squeezing when I feel like it's a little bit left. Then I put some eucalyptus oil. I just use whatever essential oils I have. You can use what you have. And that's it. I'm ready to use my flaxseed gel. So thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Try this and let me know how you like it. Bye. See you guys in another video.